Okay, so this is going to copy this yes. and then show us what, kind of take us through your signal chain on. Okay, so from the tuner, the signal flow, I go right into the Ego Comp, the Wampler. Sure. Um, on tour with Paisley, he just made me fall in love with this compressor. <laughs> and that's kind of a stay on all the kind, all it the time. It is. Yeah. Do you keep your compressor on all the time? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it just, it yeah. just sounds better. <laughs> I know, me yeah. too. I feel like it's like the extra like glue yeah. for your playing. It just makes, it just kind of wakes up the amp. I, 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 think. I agree. And I agree. It's, maybe it's like a psychological crutch. Yeah, I, I, maybe. <laughs> I feel like I have more confidence because yeah. it like has my back or something. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, so I, I usually run that all the time. And then next up we have um, the Centura Overdrive from yeah. Seriotone. So the same time I got my amp, um, I asked them, because I saw they had this Klon clone, yeah. and of course all of us are sure. maybe looking for the best Klon clone sure. out there sure. so that we don't need to spend, you know, yeah. five grand on a pedal <laughs> or whatever. Um, and I've just fallen in love with this Klon clone. I, I think the circuit is very, very similar. I think that the the knobs on it are are really um, they're really subtle. Like the gain knob is just like I also leave this pedal on usually all the time. I sure. just kind of run it as a clean boost. Yeah. But yeah, so many people do because it's that same kind of thing. It just wakes up the amp. It just yeah. yeah I feel like it does. It just yeah. like gives me that extra sauce, specifically like through that overtone special. Um, the gain is just so subtle. Like so obviously if you really want to... But yeah. it's like, I mean, when you run it, I don't know, I run the gain of it like 10 o'clock or something, it yeah. just... Compared to, but it just gives. I feel like my amp is alive all of a sudden. Yeah. Like you think that this is the clean amp, but it's like this is the clean amp, which yeah. sounds great, you know, especially sure. if I push my amps a little bit. But also when we're playing in venues where yeah. I can't turn my amps up past a certain point. <laughs> yeah. Um, this helps me get there. The house saying, could you turn Yeah, could down? you just, <laughs> just give me yeah. dang guitar players, <laughs> always, always. Yeah. Um, so that's that's probably one of my favorite pedals. Yeah, love for it. For that reason. Okay, and then from there, where are you going? Next, we go to this Atana. So this was a pedal that I actually developed with Siren pedals. Oh, cool. Um, Siren pedals actually aren't around anymore, and so it's like a super, super limited thing. But um, we did a we did a run with them, and they. Um, they sold like crazy. I actually wanted to get a few more of them and I can't even get more of my own. So I have this one and yeah. I have like the original prototype that we made, <laughs> but maybe there are some out there um, yeah. that we can find. But um, but yeah, it's it's a similar like Klon-like circuit again. Sure. You're going to get tired of me saying those two words so much, John. But um, Never. But it, <laughs> I'll never get tired of that. Um, it has like a little clip. Um knob that can like kick it to a little bit higher of a gain state so um so i normally stack it over the the centura and it just gives me like some nice Okay, so this is with the clip on like the lowest feature, but if we go to the highest yeah. one, it like gives you a little bit more of a point. Yeah, so, sounds great. Yeah. Okay, I love it, and I love the artwork. Did you <laughs> pick you so out much. the artwork for it? I did, yeah. One one thing that I loved so much about Siren is they always have such beautiful yeah. 
pedal artwork and I mean I guess as a guitar player it's like that's that's half the thing right it's like like cool names and cool (laughs) sure so I wanted to be yellow I wanted to be a pedal that um you know sticks out on your board I was I was looking at like mythos is now making like some hot pink I'm like I need to get me one of those pedals (laughs) man but okay mythos yeah (laughs) balls in your court yeah Yeah, we love mythos so much I've been um I've been following uh, Matt plays a lot of mythos pedals and I've been I've been um, playing a lot of them. But yeah, they're so great. And I, I think it's cool to have, you know, cool stuff on your board. Sure. Um, okay, so next in the flow is the Ultraphonics. Okay, Vertex. This is, this is sort of, yeah, Vertex. Um, it's sort of a crazy, wacky overdrive. I normally stack, when I do use them, stack all three of them when I'm like really getting to that point end of, of a the show night, where everything's end on. End of the night, every, your whole yeah. board is glowing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it it gets like really really loud, but um, but it's it's wonderful and gives you like so much saturation saturation. So um, so yeah, I normally stack them. Like- <laughs> Yeah, that's great. So that's yeah. a lot of saturation. <laughs> yeah, There's a yeah. lot of, but it's uh, it's good. You know, sometimes when like this Atana just isn't quite enough, oh, then yeah. you have another level. Yeah, that one goes to eleven. That's yeah, great. That one goes to eleven. <sighs> and then um, this Mutron, I always love filter things. Sure. Um, it it's so much fun, especially when we're, you know, playing something a little bit more vibey yeah. and. Um, and yeah, I can I can play and swim around in filters and mod worlds for, for sure. days. Yeah, perfect. So it's fun. Love it. Kind of the same. Um, this Orion stereo chorus pedals. There's so many chorus pedals out there. Right. But I love this one. It's like very analog and old. Like oh, they're yeah. they're kind of hard to find. Really hard. And those were so they were everywhere and cheap yeah. years ago. I, I, do you remember them? Yeah. 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 Yeah, they were like they were they were cheap. Yeah, and now to find one, you're Good like, yeah. you're you're in. So I, I have a few of them, but I just I think they're so fun. They just add like that. Yeah, and it just like it gets even like you know. Yeah, so, I love it. It's fun. Yeah, it's really kind of Leslie-esque. It is yeah. very Leslie-esque. Yeah. yeah, it like really widens out your tone, and you can have a lot of fun with them. Okay. Another fun thing to like throw in a solo when you just want sure. that extra little sauce. Yeah. Um, this Providence delay pedal is has been one of my favorite um, delay pedals in a long time. I have like the tap tempo wired. Um, down below here, but um, but it's just like very. It has you know different sculpt settings, but uh, as it's also been kind of acting up on me, um, it just is very analog and very sweet and very. Yeah, so, yeah, that's great. It's uh, it's been one of my favorites. They're actually getting harder and harder to find, um, but um, but it's been one of my faves. And then, last but not least, is this uh, Hardwire Reverb that again has just been like a really, really warm sounding reverb. I mean, it can like you know. So it's just like, it's yeah. just so approachable and it sounds good on anything. Right. Yeah. That's a hard one to turn off. It just sounds so great. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It definitely yeah. is.